as CP the Tool Addict. Woo! Guess what? We got a video for you today. I think if you're in the market for a battery system tester, you're really going to like this because this, in my opinion, is the best one on the market. Now, I might be, I might seem a little biased because I'm a huge fan of these products, but I looked around and I really, really think this one has the most features, the best benefits, and I've been using it for a little while. Unfortunately, I will have a disclaimer right now. I wasn't able to get any charging footage, um, and we're going to do just some live testing, but there will be more to come on this. Sorry about that. Um, so, without ado, uh, excuse me, just one quick thing, though. I want to say thank you, all you new subscribers, once again, from the bottom of my heart. You guys are super kind. You guys have been super supportive, and I'd appreciate it if you go down in the comment box of this video if you liked it, and just say something and uh, let me know you watched it and uh, just tell me because the more comments I get the better it is uh, I just lets me know that you enjoy what I'm doing and also if you haven't subscribed please do that now because that definitely helps the channel we are close we are getting closing in on that 5,000 mark and I could appreciate and I really could use your help to get to there anyways without further ado let's move on and let's just get right into it because today we're going to be talking about the Solar BA-327. That's right, Solar BA-327. This is a battery starting and charging system tester. It does everything. It is a complete unit, and it comes in this nice, high-visibility blow-molded case, which some of you are probably like, oh, no, not another blow-molded case. Yeah, I know, but this thing, this thing needs to be in a blow-molded case, honestly. This is, uh, this is a great unit for the money let's just uh talk about it open it up and talk about it and uh let's take throw your peepers on it the ba327 does a wide range it, it does six different types of batteries agm spiral flat plate flooded start stop which is basically a marine um does your gel cell um a lot four six different types six, six different types i don't even know all of them I, stay, I typically am dealing with the AGM gel cell spiral wounds. Oh, those are pretty much, I haven't gotten into much of the EV stuff. But anyways, 10 foot cables, the benefits and features on this. The two biggest ones are, one right here, fellas, 10 foot leads. You know why we want 10 foot leads? Nice cable ends. The biggest thing is, and they're, and they're, disconnect, they're able to be disconnected and replaced if you have issues with your cables over time which is definitely a huge deal. I do believe they service this thing through solar. The other thing is, um, that's really cool, integrated printer. And guess what? The value of this, of course we have side mount terminals. Pretty much think these are coming in about everything. Side mount adapters. Let's get this thing out of this case. Quite frankly, I feel awkward holding this. And we're gonna talk a little bit about the tester itself. And get right into what exactly it's good. Now I do have two batteries here that we're gonna we're gonna do some stuff on. I'm gonna flip the camera around, let you kind of get into it. But uh, I want to talk about a couple of features this has, besides the settings for your charging starting and uh, starting system testers, six different batteries, the printer. You can also customize your printer settings on this too to print out, and I'll show you that when the ticket comes out. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and test. I got regular AGM car battery. We're going to hook it up. Um, we're going to show what it shows. And, and this one's probably probably going to be a few people are going to be like, why? You know, you can, you can get this one right away. But that's all good. We're going, to, we're going to just flip you around and show you. All right. We'll get you right into here. I'm going to try to back this thing up so we can, I can see and you can see. And we can, get, we can all get on board with it get it right in here so we can see right away that this has a low voltage on it which is pretty obvious so we're going to go ahead and test it anyways just to show you some functions on it so the battery test we're going right there you got a system test um a configuration which is setting up your printer and all that stuff those are your three main functions super <coughs> super simple that's what i love about this right away not a whole lot of messing around and Obviously, with the voltage being so low, it's going to ask you, is it a, a six volt? No, it's not. 
which that's why I wanted to show this because I just wanted to show you that it references six volt batteries even. And uh, some of you guys might not be okay with that, but I know some of you guys that work on older cars still run some six volt systems. Tractors, whatnot like that, you know, if you got older tractors. Uh, battery type, this is not a start top stop. This is gonna be a AGM flat plate. And we're gonna punch in the CCA, which this is a 700 cranking amp. Just scroll over and bada bang. Now the temperature, we're gonna put it right about 50 at 10 degrees Celsius. And then we're gonna click. And this is a never start battery that I'm testing. And now I'm not showing it on screen here. Is the battery charged? It'll ask you that. No, it is not. <laughs> Recharge and retest. 3.12 volts and two cold cranking amps. I think we all pretty much know right then and there that this battery is not good. It gives you a code. That code is proprietary to the test that you do. And it'll ask you if you want to print the results. And the power is too low to print the printer. So good to know on this. This is one of those things. The reason why I'm showing this is because this would be something that you would want to capture the information off screen or um, have something set up to add power to this otherwise you're not going to be able to get your results uh, for the printer this is the downside of this printer being integrated with this with a low battery that's why i'm showing that because i want to show the one weakness of it okay that's pretty much the only weakness i got i've seen of it all right so now we're going to switch over and what i have over here is a deep cycle battery i'm going to switch the cables over and this nice 10 foot lead helps me be able to do that without having to jostle things around too crazy like boom Bada bing, bada boom, we are back up and running. Okay, so we got the battery status, and as we see, you can see, this is up to a 12 volt battery status. We're gonna press enter, battery system test, and we're gonna scroll over to a start stop. And now, why would I do a start stop? Because that's technically what a marine battery is called. They're called start stops because they're mainly set up for, that's why they're deep cycle. Because basically their main function is to start and stop. So then we're going to punch into that. Um, excuse me. There is several different types of marine batteries. Your EFB. Oh, it's not several. Tw two different types. An EFB or an AGM. This, however, is an AGM battery. So we're going to check th check this. And you can also check your MCAs, your CA, just your cranking amps, EN, DIN. IEC and back to CCA. So this is cranking cold cranking amps, and uh, we're going to check to 600. Excuse me, sorry, I had to look at it. Uh, 600, 530, 530 cold cranking amps on this. I had to look at the battery. Sorry, the weight of it's 35 pounds. The group size is 24. Reserve capacity is 90 minutes. Uh, let's move this down to, whoa, whoa, why don't you guys tell me to stop? All right, so here we are. We'll click enter. The temperature is about 50 degrees where I'm at right now. We're going to go ahead and test it. Is the battery charged? No, it is not because this is my boat battery. It's got 109 cranking amps, so it definitely needs a charge. Still holding 12 volts. That means we can charge it. There's your code once again. And you can recall that code to reprint it. And then we're going to print results. Look at that. This is the cool part. So it prints it off. And we'll talk about the ticket. Now this is great for, like I said, shop owners or technicians. And I don't remember if I mentioned the price. But this thing's right around $300. So let's look at the ticket here. Now, normally you see where the solar is. You can customize this. To your shop name, to your personal name, technician name, whatever you want to do. Test report, report, battery test, start, stop, AGM. It gives your voltage, cranking amps measured at 109. Um, the IR is 23.46. And then your temperature that you tested at. Recharge test, recharge and retest. The state of health is at 20%. The state of charge is at 32%. It gives you a code and then you can actually put in your client's name which is really cool for that and it gives you the test date and the time so that's uh that's the great part about this so 
there's my introduction to the solar BA327. I'm going to put a link for it in the description. You can check this out. Let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what you want to see me do with it next because we're definitely going to get into some more stuff using this because this thing, I have, I have a motorcycle that I'm going to do some testing on. My personal 81 Suzuki, the gem of all gems. It's uh, basically a pristine uh, museum piece <laughs> that uh, I picked up. Um, and then uh, also just some random stuff. I want to get a charging system test and I need to find something that's failing in charging system. That's a tough task because we're right in that area right now. Charging systems don't really fail, but uh, during this time of year, they will when it gets hotter. So hopefully we uh, get some hot weather and we have some charging fit system failures. But uh, anyways, guys, that's the video for you. Appreciate you watching. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe, ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.